Pom Pom the Gray Space Rescue made by PID Games or for sh long plug in digital games. I have first heard this game back in December before Winter Brick and my gosh did it look so good. Okay, the music loops. But this game is about basically it's a side scrolling um super uh super Mario Maker type thing in SNES style graphics. If you just build a little path for your hamster to reach a level. If you guys have never heard about this, which this game has been out for a while, it first came out, I believe, it last March on Steam. Let's get into this. Let's get into Pop Pom the Great Space Rescue. I have seen a full walk through this, so I know what the game is about. I even listened to the music. This game has fire music. All right, game A, game B, game C. We'll go with game A just for the feel of it. And oh my gosh, dude, where's can I describe how about long I played it? Since I found it, it was you were, had the option to register it uh, for uh, on the Play Store. Choose your graphics style. I'm gonna sp stick with Pixel because I feel like Smooth is just gonna make it a whole ruckus. We're gonna stick with that Pixel S Super Nintendo Entertainment System style. All right, here we go, bro. One day, Papa was working up a sweat when. Hoshi burst into the room. Must be his owner. This really does feel like Doraemon for some reason. Pom Pom, look what I found! I hear a boom and gems fell from the sky! Awesome! Those are really nice looking gems. Suddenly... Oh boy. Look who it is. Meow! Our centers say the jewels are here, boys! It's the Space Cat Pirates, y'all. That kid's gotta have them! Grab them! This, things are not looking good. What luck! We got our treasure and a new cabin boy. Goodness me. He can scrub our poop deck clean! <laughs> Goodness me. Little Koshi! Let's blow this popsicle stand! And off they go through the portal through space time. Pop Pop, help! Pop Pop will save Hoshi. I can skip that cutscene if I wanted to. Get ready, and here we go. Pom Pom walks and jumps on his own. Just like so. I may put this. This runs fairly smooth, I'm happy. That's a checkpoint I just left. Pop Pom will collect blocks he finds in bubbles. This song, this is the tutorial in Space Zone music. Press and hold the clock button to stop time. As you may see. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Reset to checkpoint settings. I may need to add a couple of things. Show grid. Get ready text. I don't think it's going to show up anytime soon. But these are the credits. Reset to checkpoint. Language settings. Display. Screen shake. There's something. There's a certain setting. I don't think it's. I think it's in the available in the Steam version. When time is frozen, press on the screen to position a block. Release to place it. Yeah, this is where the things come into play. I get playing this on mobile, but playing this on, or playing this on the computer, but the mobile is gonna be a whole different story. I absolutely love the tutorial music. This is also used in the final world of the game. This is one of my most favorites. Freezing time depletes this bar. As y'all may see. Just like so. This is your block inventory. That's the number of coins in each level. You're only allowed to use a limited number of blocks unless you collect more. Just like that. You notice how this is really similar to Super Mario World in a way. Tap an item from your inventory to switch it. I can now use the springs. Let's see. Put the spring right there. Bam. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Gotta make, make my uses worthwhile. Checkpoints will give you a second chance bubble. Okay, how smooth is this running? Good. So that if I jump in the gap, move your finger where you want to go. You want Pop Pop's bubble to go. Use this to advance. So if I fall off a thing, I can guide it around like this using my finger. I tap on the bubble. Yeah, to pop it. It's like that bubble in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Pump Pump, you can do it! All right, and then put our skills to the test. Seems simple enough. Oh, ah, Pom Pom barely made it. And then check your pad, as you would guess. 
is the end of the level. Now the real adventure starts. Boy, I've been waiting for... So as I was trying to say with the game, it has been up for registering a, a while since I found it. And it released on the 31st. Yeah, there's our ships. There's Captain Catch ship. That's the main that's the main antagonist. Grassy zone. Buy the game. Hang on. I haven't seen this. But it let's thanks for playing. Oh, she needs your help. Buy the game now and defeat the devil's captain. Later. Are you saying this is not the full game? Display difficulty. That's the one. A uh, second chance. We'll get we'll get a third chance on, because I'm sure I'm gonna be horrible at this. Freeze time, medium. Extra long. We'll go with uh, medium freeze time, see how it goes. Uh, speed run mode. Actually, let's just cheese this through. No, no, no. We'll leave it on medium. I ain't no wuss. Speed run mode? No. Uh, exit. Yeah, that's basically a thing. Alright, the first world, grassy zone. This is really like Kirby. Kirby Superstar, anyone? Green Glen. I can only access the first level right now. This is grassy zone. That right there is the ship at the end of the level. There are a certain number of coins and a golden carrot in each level. You get those for progression, but progression really does not matter since I've seen a playthrough on this. Here we go, Green Glen. Tap on the level. Green Glen has its own level theme, I think. Oh yeah, and uh, world introduction. Look at that. Ah, oh, pom pom. He's about to take a leap, but he's not gonna make it. <laughs> it's so adorable, man. Okay, here we go. Green Glen. Alright, and then, here, as we put the things to the test. Alright. Bunch more blocks. I, I was hoping I can make that, okay. Okay, how is... Oh, medium should be plenty of time. Medium uh, freeze time. Ugh. I must... Oh, yeah, these are short... I, they're short and long blocks, I forgot. Let's see. Let's skip that coin for now. Okay, and then switch to the long blocks. Oh, yeah, and if I go to a checkpoint, it resets my item inventory or just wipes out everything I have in there. All right, golden carrot. Is that... No, that's just a carrot. It looks golden in the playthrough videos I've seen. All right. Dude, I've been wanting to play this for a bit. Sad that I never found it in March 2022. I found it in... I found it just a mere nine months later. Alright, 5 out of 8 coins, not bad. That's Green Glen done. Oh man, oh gosh, are there, I don't think there are going to be any ads, is there? Okay, it's just Bouncy Basin. Alright, Anastasia Game Progress, as you would think. Let's see, yeah. World map, I'm guessing it's a reference to Super Mario World, I'm not sure. Bouncy Basin is up, what's he got? The bum bum. Oh yeah, this is the original uh, Grassy Zone theme. Alright. I meant to, dang, meant to put that somewhere, that spring someplace else, but that's fine. At least we made it. Alright. Reset my thing again. Alright. Alright, and then another one right here. Boop, boop. Oh, want to get that golden? Uh, I keep calling it a golden carrot. Do want to jump off the ledge? Woo! Okay, we made it. All right, let's see. Hopefully, I can make this jump. Pom pom! Yes. That was cool. Bounty Bastion done. Oh god. I'm kind of worried. Hopefully when I beat uh, Grassy Zone, it doesn't like... I'm guessing when I say buy the game, it means like the Steam version, but... I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of worried. Alright. Spring Meadows is up next. You're like... Alright. Pom Pom is going on a run. To save his honor or she from bad stuff. Alright. Make it, yes. I was using blocks too frequently. This is Spring Meadows, right? Almost forgot the name of the level. Well, uh, whatever the time comes. 
I will- Oh god. Bump bump, please? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Automatically place springs. You love to see it? Alright. Okay, just to- uh, Place it underneath them. Goodness, that was close. Pop bombs the boy, by the way, y'all. Look at the hamster go. I think I've come up with the sub genre title thingy for this video Super Hamster Maker and SNES Flare. I like the sound of that a lot. Oh. Gonna be. Oh, yeah. And the time freeze bar regenerates quickly. I like to see that. Let's see. Can I? Ooh, that was close. I just love this game's music so much. It even sounds similar. Like the tutorial music sounded similar to Kirby Superstar, with the coincidence of the of the of that level being taking place in space. I thought this was the end for a second. I was like, why did I have four extra springs? And also, Grassy Zone, the first few levels so far resemble Super Mario World. If you listen to this game's OST, which there should be a playlist, oh my gosh, it's vaguely similar to Super Mario World, Kirby Superstar, amongst other SNES uh, populars. Hang on. SNES favorites is what I meant to say, but you get the gist. Do, 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 do. Boing. 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 Try to do the rest of this. I jumped over coins. Oh, dang. That was that was not good. All right, but we beat the level nonetheless. First ever time I fell down the pit. Gotta be careful with these net remaining levels. Okay, it's beginning to be dark out. I should turn my bl blinds off. Okay, what is this? Oh, I think I've seen this level. Oh, and I beat complete enough levels to unlock the next zone, which is City Zone. What the heck is that satellite? Dude, this is... I guess I have three... Oh! I've never seen that in the Steam version. What is that satellite? So it looks like I, I'm forced to collect carrots. That kind of sucks. All right. Uh, do you... Let's see. Where did I not go? I got okay. I got all of them so far. So I don't think coins matter, but carrots do. I'll try to go after every single one then. Lightweight lift is up next. Dumbo dumbo. Oh yeah, this is where you get to use the balloon. Now I'm trying to. S okay, that's how it works. Let's see. Can I just? Okay. I gotta click on pop bomb to. Okay. Okay, I kind of see how this goes. This may be a bit tricky to control, but... Let's see. Uh, and I can't hold it. I gotta tap it. Be sure pop Bomb doesn't, like, go too fast. Oh, and doesn't get hit by the seagulls either. Do... Ba-ba-ba. Oh, I got the carrot. Goodness, that was something. Oop. Alright. I got the things we need. I got the carrots. That was, which was, I was really close to in that. Oh, what? Huh. No. Bomb bomb. Can I? There you go. Get up. Woo! I failed twice there. I gotta. Oh, no. No! Dang, dude, this level is going to be heck tricky. But thankfully, I grabbed the checkpoint, and it saves the gonna carry. Saves the carrot I grabbed. Why did the screen glitch a little there? And I'd be worried. You, you don't. The problem is with these levels, you do not see what is coming up. Thankfully, I believe this is the only level in the entire game which has these uh, mechanics. You had to go nice and slow while dodging the seagulls as best we could. Oh yeah, and then. Not to mention, like, I think just beyond this point should be a... Yeah, some coins. Alright. Let's see. Can't there anyway? No, I gotta... I gotta force Pom Pom down. There we go. There's just a bunch of coins up there. I just wanted to go up there for you guys to see what was up. Literally up. 
Coolio's lightweight light weight lift done. All right, Loggy Lake, and I believe this is the first level to use the alt version of the grassy zone theme. Yeah, it's higher in pitch. Dude, this is one. Of, this is another one of my favorites. Oh, what what am I thinking? I didn't use the time freeze. I'm I'm a dum dum. I gotta start using that more. Oh, also the last level I did not even use. The time freeze. All right, yeah, but yeah, I also heard that in the gameplay video, the dude who was playing it said they had experienced troubles with the game with Pom Pom not jumping when he was supposed to. But I believe uh, Plugin Digital fixed that greatly. So now Pom Pom will jump when he needs to. I will take that carrot. Thank you very much. I love this a lot, y'all. You have no idea. This game's so fun. I'm having a lot of time to myself right now. Oh, these guys. These guys can cause problems. We gotta block them off. We're not gonna... This is where we start not using... Uh, uh, this is where we start not using uh, blocks for just jumping across anymore. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Block these suckers off. So you don't fall on us. We, we're multitasking right now. I can't... I can't freaking block them off. Ugh. Okay, I might as well. Yo, I need these blocks. Okay. But the, and the bubble will dissipate on its own. So if you don't hurry to grab what you need in time, there could be mega problems. So you got to use your time wisely. Just do music. Da -da -da. Bo -bo -bo. I love it. I love it so much. You guys have no idea. Hover. Oh no. Hover Cloud Heights. Is this another? This gotta be another balloon level, right? There's eight levels in this world, too. Bum, ba, ba, ba. Oh no, it's this one. Oh yeah, I know what's coming up. Let's see. I gotta get get pom pom in the cloud. These clouds. Oh, what the heck? Yo. Oh. Yo, yo. This is this multitask thing. I'm gonna suck at a lot. Do do. All right. Oh, I gotta get the cloud to pom pom. The cloud. Will disappear over time. I do not know why that happened. Dang. All right. Wait, I thought I had the third chance thingy on. Yeah. What happened to the bubble I had once had? Yeah, the cloud doesn't start uh disintegrating. Yo, <laughs> pom pom. That's a dangerous stunt, my guy. Okay. Then why did I place a block? I guess that's what happened last time. I'm not sure. But that's time I say myself. As soon as the cloud, like, fully, oh my god, fully disintegrates, that's when I gotta... Pom Pom, get in the cloud! Don't jump off it. Alright. Alright, perfect. And I placed the spring on accident, but that's fine. Alright. Alright. I have five extra blocks to use. What the heck? All right, let's just cheese it over these guys. Oh, get the cloud. Oh, I can also. What the heck? Pop up. Okay, that was close. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Pop up. Oh god. Yo. I should have used the. I couldn't grab the cloud in time, man. That sucks. At least I have a checkpoint. Yeah, this game will get stupid hard. Oh, I gotta start moving the cloud in order to pop. In order for pop out to be automatically in it. Oh, and if the cloud stops moving, he does what he just did. Oh boy, this this is gonna be a huge problem. Or. All right, get in the next cloud. That's a smart decision to make.
That was not a smart decision to make. I'm not pausing at any time. Either I get by this or I don't. Nope. This is gonna be tricky. Oh, no, looks like that's a missed. Wait, no! I, when did I tap the bubble? I was trying to get the carrot, man. I thought that could work, but that must, that's gotta work. Actually, try to get as many carrots as I can for whatever that satellite, satellite thing, that new satellite thing is. That was just stupid, man. Ooh, yeah, playing this on mobile will actually be stupid tough. Will you? Okay. Do I have? Okay, just forget this uh, carrot for now. Like, goodness me. Okay, nice. Good. I was right near the end. That really sucked. I died multiple times during that. Is it raining? Oh boy, is it? No, it's just really windy out. Okay, Hovercloud Heights. A few struggles. Oh, spicy Skyway. I've seen this. I've seen the Let's Player had like mega problems on the stage. They couldn't clear the first gap. So Pawbon will eat a little spicy chili pepper and as you would think, he'll run along. Okay, least Pawbon can grass cross the first chat. This is where Pom Pom level uh the pom pom levels get fast paced so you gotta and it'll continue the chili peppers along the way too so you gotta use ramps this is where we introduce the triangle blocks block the block off the way right there so we don't accidentally jump into the spikes oh i don't think you jump on water either that'll um not that it'll hurt me but it'll probably Negate the effects of the spiciness, you know? Alright. Alright. Oh my god. I was trying to do stuff. Oh, but then after that, yeah, the spicy the spicy effect wears off. So I will not have... Oh yeah, I can jump on enemies too. I won't have enough momentum to get to certain places, which kind of sucks. So you really got to be desperate for the... Oh my god. For the amount of blocks you have. Okay, at least there's another chili pepper here. Burr, burr, burr. Oh. Okay. Goodness, that was kind of accidental, but okay. I don't even know how long these things last. It's, it's just that, why am I giving, giving so many? Okay. All right, that's that's that spicy walk play. Thought it would die in the stage of luck due to the let's player having major struggles with this, but we made it through. Surprisingly, okay. Caterline ship is the first boss. Oh, and we unlocked Toyland Zone, which is the third one in the game. I don't know. Will this game continue if I beat the first boss? Cause what? Cause why else would it say buy the game here? Maybe this is a full game, but the thing is tricking me. If that's the case, might as well go for a full-blown 30 minutes if possible, just to save some resources to be able to add my intro and outro to this. To this. Okay, never mind. Yeah, later. Dang, why this devilish Captain Cat? Okay, this is Caroline's ship, right? Yeah, okay, it ends here. Dang, that, that, that really sucks, man. The full game is on Steam. I don't know if the... Mobile version will get updated, or is it just gonna stay like this? I swear, if it's just gonna stay like this, I'm gonna be real upset. But, y'all, I guess this is gonna have to conclude Pom Pom the Great Space Rescue. I've been waiting a while to play this, and I'm glad it was finally able to come up. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. 
that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and see you in the next game. So Fugro Thunder plays up signing out. Enjoy the future of gaming.